finish up on Games Workshop has some recurring news. Like, we have some more to come back to for Games Workshop and the Warhammer 40K stuff. Our least divisive video. <laughs> yeah. That did so... I mean, I'm, I'm concerned that this is going to look like us just going back to it because oh, it was the I biggest did, content. I don't care. <laughs> I, I, I just it, wanna... it wasn't because we had this discussion <clears throat> before, like, I even started, like, gaining traction because I saw... I just started hearing... I saw hearing. a quick clip that the cfo dumped like two-thirds of her uh right her and stock in it and i'm like whoa hearing, i'm like that's not good i just started hearing a bunch of rumors about it too just like today or the other day yeah so the fight is still happening with a lot of these like bootlickers saying that no it's always possible that there could have been female custodies and first off objectively it's not possible it's never been possible whatever you're saying to yourself right now you're lying to yourself. You're lying to yourself, and you're just inflating the issue just because you want to be a contrarian and be on the opposite end of this fight. Like, well, that's all you're doing. If, if it was always a thing, this wouldn't be a big deal. Exactly. You know what I mean? If it, right. if it was true, this, we wouldn't have all this news and all these articles and all this, you know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure issue. the guys that spent thousands of dollars in this hobby know more than some, like, yeah. activist Twitter. <laughs> well, I got into a debate with someone in the comments about this, this like, very specific author. Uh, like, one author among, like, a couple hundred that over the last few decades has contributed a, a, a significant amount to the Warhammer universe. Like, he's written plenty. But apparently he said that he was going to put female custodies in a previous work and Games Workshop shut it down. And so my response is, so he didn't. Yeah. <laughs> so he I didn't move didn't the needle at all. It's so still not canon. So We're a guy who wanted to time. do a thing wasn't able to do a thing. That's your argument for why that thing was always possible. Well, I'm hearing now that uh, Amazon's the one that wanted female custodians because of the new show that's coming out, and Games Workshop didn't want it. They're, but they had to bend the knee to Amazon anyway. They're well, very rigid, like I, we said the last one, on what they do and don't allow into the lore because they stick to it pretty good. Games Workshop usually. was the – Games Workshop, it's uh, it's not that they reference a female custody in the in – the, uh, the, What's books? The, the, well, there it's the speci- – I wanted to get the specific book right, but oh. I got – I'm sure I'm going to get it wrong. There's so many but books. But the um, – I think it's the Adaptus Custodes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the Codex Adaptus Custodes. So there's a specific reference in that that book that came out that points to the female custody. But Games Workshop followed it up by saying that there have always, ever since like the 10,000 or... Okay, uh, yeah, that said it's, it's, it's in the upcoming here. one. Okay, since the first of the 10,000 were created, there have always been female custodians. And this... It makes them sound like they're a bunch of female janitors running around. Yeah, <laughs> there have always been women who clean. <laughs> since, I mean, even before 10,000, there were always women who cleaned. And that's that's <laughs> Warhammer official, not... Mm-hmm. not. <clears throat> Did you hear? see the other um, statement they put out to where it's like, uh, War, it's something like Warhammer is all-inclusive and blah, 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 and if you don't agree with us, then goodbye or whatever. So it's like you're not that inclusive. Weird. Yeah, just a, like they, they had an article that came out calling them bigots. Missed. And it's they're they're not saying they're not inclusive. There's like, they're just trying to follow the lore. There's like tons of, like, you know, strong females and their characters and their backstories. They have, they already have their place. Why are you trying to shoehorn this thing in? Yeah, right? it's like the sisters like, of why, silence or like it's, the that's the battle sisters. They have the their own sisters. chapters and they're like some of the most feared, like, part of the army of the Imperium. It's like they're crazy trained and all this stuff like i've i've watched like tens of videos i think this is the post i was looking for i think i think this is the post i was looking for we should go through it real quick so in 1987 uh as men from the start so this is grums follow him on twitter uh this is what i've been looking for i we had a difficult time finding this post um so in like the original in the original uh books the adaptus custodies inner guard uh which privilege being permitted these men never leave earth that's not very inclusive wording. How dare you? That's very specific. And then going forward, Canceled. they have all of the artwork, all of the artwork, all of the trading cards from the Horus uh, Heresy trading card game in 2003, all male, all I mean, all male trading cards. And then you have uh, Brotherhood of the Demigods. Um, I think it was this one that I wanted to pull up. Yeah, allowing every dynasty that had offered its sons to claim their chi- their children as the successful 
as the successful ones alive and well amongst the Golden Brotherhood. Like, well, now they're like, okay, so it's like they're gaslighting, like, sons meant like everyone or whatever. And it, I think, uh, like, people are pissed off that they're trying to shoehorn this into the lore, but I think people are even more pissed off that Games Workshop is gaslighting everyone and yeah. saying, it's like, it's always been a thing. It's like, no, you're fucking lying to me. Yeah. And I don't like being lied to. Yeah. Well, Just say you're putting it in because of the X reason. Well, and I would like, okay, so there are going to be people, if this video is as popular as the last one, there will be people in the comments who are like, there's always been female custodies. Okay, challenge to you in the comments. Find it. Find it. Send, copy the link. And Show me the receipts. We are on Instagram. Show me the receipts. We're on Instagram. We're on Twitter. We have a Discord. We have all sorts of different places. If you send us anything that says it as a matter of fact in the lore, we will bring you on a future episode to rip <laughs> our ass apart. Like we have the technology now. We, we can have bring the you technology. on. <laughs> we can bring you on we can Discord. Bring them back. We can bring you on Discord. We'll invite you into the live stream and we will apologize in person if you can find it. I'll eat crow. It's fine. He, Slim will eat crow. <laughs> Slim will eat crow. But it keeps going. It's not even a little bit. The noble the sons of nobles, the brotherhood. This is overt. This is decades and decades of them just being of them being males and then like Warhammer official just says it, and we're supposed to eat that. The answer is just no. Also, I love this post. Okay, so I, I might need to zoom in here, but on on Games Workshop's own website, the ma like twenty five percent of their stock is owned by BlackRock, Vanguard Group, and Billy. G That's uh, about Gifford. right. That's about right. I think it's that for a lot of entertainment companies. That's true. <laughs> well, it's like they kind of own the world. Well, so I mean, people are pointing at Amazon right now, but I mean, the people who push this agenda and everything, uh, Billy Guilford's uh, platform, yeah, this is like their diversity and inclusion statement on their on their uh, on their website is diversity uh, doesn't come from. They're gonna put this in everything they touch. This investment management group is gonna push diversity and everything. You're. Just keep us distracted, right? Yeah, I'm not at all convinced this is good faith, this is real. Like, no, you're not convincing anyone with your with your bootlicking bullshit comments saying that, well, there always could have been, so why are you pissed? No, this is why we're pissed. It's all right I'm here. Mad. I'm pissed. <laughs> you don't have to be pissed. You're mad for two of us. I'm mad for everybody. I, <laughs> I represent the frustrations of an entire I'm just in group this camp of, of, yeah, of course they do it. It's not surprising. No, anymore. no. So with uh, everything, they're always trying to push push DEI. And it's just killing a lot of stuff. I mean... One uh, of the comments was we were using woke wrong. I'm like, no, this is what... It <laughs> That's why I told him he needed to step back and take a breath because he's like, it's wrong. <laughs> well, he's in like all that comments. Well, people are people are saying you're using the, the, the word wrong. I'm like, no, it's the praxis of, identi of identity politics. It's like you're inserting identitarianism into all of the work. We're getting them worked up. Well, it's I like uh, with all this DEI stuff, it's actually starting to close uh, companies down because there's been another Sweet Baby incident. Oh, I wish, uh, we, I wish we'd like pulled that out. It's like or some, yeah. some game just came out. And no one bought it, and so that a developer uh -huh. is closing their doors. And it just came out, too. Yeah. Good. Go Good. down burning. So if, like, if you're associated with uh, Sweet Baby, baby it's going to take a huge hit in your sales. Well, mm. And you don't need to... Like, or gamers, or yeah. black girl gamers, or whatever these companies well, there's are. So, there's so many of them. They're all dumb names, too. Another issue I have with like this this woke thing is that... like. You don't have to really take the high ground on this. Like, people on the right, people in the middle, people on the left, everyone injects their philosophies into their own work. It's na it's nature. It's natural. Yeah, sure. Like, Tolkien injected his belief system into his work. Like, you either like or don't like that, but, like, you can't, pr you can't disguise to me that they are putting their values into this project and then gaslight me into thinking that they're not. Like, they're putting their value system into their work. Okay, but you're lying to us saying that it was always there. It's not true. Slim, when you want to touch base on the CFO thing, uh, I think you mentioned it. I did it. already. You mentioned it in passing, but you didn't bring oh, it. Oh, yeah, well, just that's kind of how I got part of this news. You know, it was d earlier in the week, and I just kind of came up, and it, it's like the article that said, during amidst all this stuff, the CEO dropped two-thirds of her stock, and I was like, that's bad sign. That was yeah. that's really bad. Like what? What's what does she know that we don't know? Kind of thing. What's all game? of the money? Oh yeah. As like, chief financial officer, 
Yeah. She runs all the money. Yeah. She touches so all of it. She knows that they're going to take a big hit. So she's like, I don't want this stock. I'm going to lose. There have always been money. female CFOs. Yeah. It's, okay. <laughs> it's in the lore. It's in the lore. Ever <laughs> since the 10,000. Uh, but I think the other cool, uh, another cool comment that came up from Twitter was uh, the former Epic Games executive. I think he was like in charge of like their business development. Yeah. Um, thinks that Amazon did it um, intentionally to lower Games Workshop's prices and in an attempt to buy them out. Obviously, they have their new show coming out, but I'm going to come down just to his comment directly. Hey, so, uh, Alexei Sev- Alexei Savchenko, uh, if, Amaz- if I was Amazon, I would continue applying pressure with the TV series for lore changes, dismantle Games Workshop relationship with its fan base to drop their price just to buy them pennies on the dollar. And then launch TV faithful to the lore. Yeah. Could you imagine? Yeah. Just a <laughs> TV show is just faithful as fuck. <laughs> well, those are not like. First off, I bet Amazon would do that. That sounds totally on Amazon's oh, yeah. in Amazon's playbook. It does. I bet it's in the third or fourth page of their playbook. But <laughs> faithfully adapting lore is not something Amazon is necessarily known for. Not yeah, really. It's very they, few shows. If, if they do exactly that, are faithful to the lore, and then all of a sudden people start watching the show and buying minis again and then all the stock stock goes up and makes them fucking bank it's a good idea exactly it's a little tinfoil hatty but it yeah i could see like also the uh i could see like a lot of live action adaptations i mean we're already getting quite a few yeah but it becomes like a really big thing because like when one piece came out the anime blew up here in the west hardcore everyone was watching it when uh, Fallout came out, all of the, their games went up significantly. I started playing Fallout 4. And uh, Rings of Power came out. The books started selling like crazy. Huh. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that's crazy. Rings of Power is... Rings of Power and Halo are the biggest... Halo's the only one that hasn't gotten a big bump. Because <laughs> <laughs> the games suck. All well, the new ones do. I, think the sh- I don't remember I if like the show ones. came out after... Halo Infinite or before Halo uh, Infinite? I don't remember. I think it came out after. Halo Infinite, heard, then the show, I think. Halo Infinite looked like trash, anyway. I was only playing it for I months play it, and it started to suck more and more. Halo Infinite was... <sighs> Halo Infinite was the last straw for me because I was like, oh, awesome! We're getting a sixth New, installment yeah, of Master Chief Master story. Chief but the- then it it made the uh, Halo, ga- Halo War games like required reading. And I'm like, fuck this! I'm so fucking out! And then Halo the, Wars was fun. The biggest, the biggest, the end for me, I uninstalled the game instantly after this line. Cortana's talking to one of the brutes in the moment, and she's like, you know there's things on this planet that are far worse than the flood. Uninstalled. <laughs> no, there like, ain't. Not fucking, no. No, bullshit. there ain't. There's no. The flood is end game material it in is. the Halo universe. Like, the end of the world. That's what the whole Halo rings were for. Exa- to eradicate the flood. Yeah, there's... No, I uninstalled instantly after that line. I was We're like, gonna make a bigger baddie. We didn't get to so in in the Halo standard games, not the Halo Wars games. We didn't get our like conclusion to Cortana and Master Chief after Halo Five when the Guardians are now out there. The AIs fl- yep. convert and and start sabotaging the USNC. Like we didn't get our like payoff in a video. I kind of forgot all about the story after. Four or five, Reach. Reach. I played, I played through five and Reach and both Halo Wars. I played four and five, but I don't remember the story at all. It's forgettable. Well, five is when Master Chief goes rogue and yeah, Locke yeah. goes after him. So but I don't have... really remember specific points of that at all. <laughs> yeah. They were trying to, yeah, they were trying to hunt down. Oh him. yeah, they that uh, they got uh, hit hard with lawsuits about uh, false advertising too. Yeah, because yeah. they were making the game about Master Chief, and it was more, it was as much a Locke story. It was super. Well, and uh, there was supposed to be, like, them against each other the entire time, yeah. and it really wasn't. They had, like, one mission where they were, like, chasing each other, and then... Yeah, and then they, they were buddy-buddy after that. Yeah, then they had, like, a hundred Spartans on one team. Oh. ODST <laughs> is ODST is still the best. No. 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 Yeah, I'm in that camp. No. Gosh. <laughs> no. You're wrong. No. Reach. No. One through three. Reach, Reach was is good. the best. Reach, Reach is good. the best Halo. You're fucking wrong. I will fight anyone on this topic. Like I'll fight Halo you. Wars. Reach. Oh, on this topic? Oh, I thought we were just going to fight. Reach is. <laughs> I don't Tune t- in next week. We'll I don't pick fights fight. I can't win, Cody. So I can beat you in the Halo conversation. I don't think I could physically beat you. No, because it's subjective. <laughs> it's and, not. Yep. Reach is overtly better. 
It's just better than whatever your ODST bullshit is. Your failed Madagascar, Wakanda, forever. You guys like, should do We Gotta Talk About This on that. That'd be funny. Honestly. I'd, I'd have take... to get drunk for it to get enough passion. Because <laughs> I'm really not that passionate about it. <laughs> Halo Reach is like where I live in video games. Like that's like. That's where I live. That's where the it's Halo Reach in my mind is the perfect video game story. It's, it's good. On, it's fine. Okay. No, it's fine. The it's word you're looking fine. for is perfect. It's okay. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> all right. 